is the other way up my street. When, uh, when I was very young in here, it was one of our hideouts. It was a lot less overgrown then. <laughs> Can't even get in there. Oh, no. I wrote some rude stuff on the back of these signs when I was young, but these are different signs now. Anyway, one time, when we were really young, a bunch of us all having a fight with somebody's older brother, all throwing little berries and stuff at him. And I came around here and I'm hitting right in the side of the head with possibly one of them. He wasn't very happy. This little road leads up to some farm. When I was small, my friend had one of them pedal powered go-karts and I had a bike. And um, he went racing off up here ahead of me and I was chasing him to catch him up. And he suddenly slammed the, the brake on, did the skid to the side. And I hit the front of the cart and went flying off the bike. And uh, ended up laying down here somewhere, expecting it to hurt, but actually it didn't. Don't know how I got away with that. Very cold today. Oh, and also when I was little I um, could imagine I could see a giant up here which is as tall as them, that pole there. Used to be a hideout in here too. When I was really small I um, bought a glass bottle up here and went inside and smashed it, which is ever so rebellious. And one time some kids built a sort of catapult thing and insisted they catapulted some other kid up into those electric wires and he just exploded into blood. And also up that road used to be a farmyard but now it's new houses but when we were small we used to send our bikes down there and then jump off them at the last second and they'd come riding out here with nobody on them luckily we didn't hit anyone's car but it came pretty close a few times this is the village pump long since unused of course still see the uh, remains of the canvas pipe on it when I was really little in about 1990 no later than that the pipe was actually really long and blew around in the wind. Also, it used to be light green, but they've painted it black. But, um, didn't take the last bit of pipe off. Methodist Chapel. I think it might just be somebody's house now. Oh, no, here it is. Apparently it's associated with the church, the main church in the village. I thought it was a separate one. I saw this bus stop many times when I was unemployed for the first time. Apparently there are still buses, but I've never seen any. My granny started to get the bus when she lived on her own, and one time she said she found the bus just hiding around an obscure corner somewhere. The driver was probably just going to come back after he's supposed to have finished and say he didn't see any passengers. That's what you get when you pay for the lowest bidder. Horse manure on the main road. How true that is, even today. Used to be a big empty yard over there, and that house was abandoned. A bit further up was a sort of barn which had loads of machinery in, and my dad came to the yard once to get some um, rubble for foundations for his garage. And me and my brother went into that barn and got a load of old big machinery <coughs> that we put on my dad's pickup. But then um, he chucked it away and said some bloke at work took it out. Probably because it was really full of asbestos and stuff. But anyway, they've converted all these into new houses now. Here's not only new houses, but a completely new road. The Chambers Way. Because, when I was young, this used to be the entrance to a um, yard for a haulage company. So it used to be just giant sheds and parked up lorries all down there. Came out to the one shop. There used to be more shops when I was young, but there's only one left. Which sells a little bit of everything. I've got pictures of it from 1980 and it doesn't really look any different. Well, uh, for a little time in the 90s, it did have vending machines outside which sold um, gumballs in plastic containers which also had pogs in them. But the plastic containers were the one type that smashes like glass. So we used to put talcum powder in them and pretend they were hand grenades. Fat roof house always fascinated me when I was young. A granny on my dad's side used to live down here, in the top flat of that house over there, in fact. And after she died, my brother thought it was okay to press the panic button in her, in her flat, which made a lot of weird, loud beeping noises. And I was sitting in the car and thought some sort of psycho robot was on the loose. 
and got a rubber mallet out of the glove box and was waiting to attack it. Here's a Sunday school, built in 1930. I don't know if it's been used as a Sunday school for years. And uh, anyone who read my old comic Felney, remember that in one of the early strips there's a car crash and the guys in it were rating the crash. That's supposed to have happened here. Nice view of the countryside on this road. So you probably can't see it because the sun glares on the lint. Lots of new houses down here. It used to just be sort of rough, rough, scrubby fields. This is Cannon Street. Lots of new houses built along here in the last few years. It used to just be gaps. There'd be a row of houses and then there'd just be grass and the open fields beyond it. Who even owned that land? <laughs> Was it the owners of the houses or the um, the council or the farmers around the fields? I don't know. Anyway, this road runs sort of parallel to the main street but further back. I'm sure this road used to just go nowhere as well. It's been turned into a proper road now with houses on it. This is what the gaps between houses used to look like. Just sort of an extended garden that went down to nothing. And you can see the cathedral in the distance. This is the end of Pond Lane, which is so cool because there used to be a pond here, but now it's just been filled in. Got a picture from the 50s when it was still there. And all the water goes. So one of our friends used to live up here. And this sort of gravelly, gravelly car park here. We used to come speeding down the hill on our bikes and then um, put our feet down and scrape along and make dust in the gravel when it was dry. But then one time I did it too much and stopped and I turned around and my brother was racing towards me but looking over at the, our friend's house. I was just shout his name and he only just missed me. And also somebody down there used to have a um, an old standard 10 from the 30s but he's probably dead now. And a lot of new houses. This used to be another scrubbly field with just one sort of really old dark grey cottage. And um, one time, because this is a steep hill by Cambridge standards, we used to get off our bikes and push them up. And I was pushing my bike up and suddenly there's this noise behind me and these two fighting cats just fell out of the hedge and started fighting on the road when they saw somebody was looking and just stopped. Another new house with the um, rustic grey cottage from Victorian times used to be. This is quite a bit bigger than that was. This was little sheltered bungalows for old people. It's one of the few places that doesn't look any different to how it did when I was a kid. Never used to go down this road much. I don't there's anything interesting down here. In fact, when I was um, making my Felney website, and Felney was basically just a copy of this village, one time I did a map of the village and completely forgot this road even existed, so I had to go back in and redraw it later. village takeaway. <coughs> used to be a fishing tackle shop and this was to be sort of charity clothes shop. They've gone the way of all things in doing recessions. The recession of 1991 that is. Uh, one of the pubs called the Anchor. It used to be really kind of grotty and rough but they've done it up recently and it's all really fancy and middle class now. <laughs> it's a Skoda garage which is here in Skoda was a, um, a communist make they made really crappy cars that never broke down. But I just think they're doing a bit better now. 